Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to you this amazing GitHub page that I have found. And the title of the GitHub page is called Tensor under Tensorflow underscore object underscore counting underscore API. And it is created by this uh, author. So so what does Tensorflow object counting API actually does? So if you look further, the author himself actually provided us with some examples or demonstration of what this, um, this GitHub page can do. So basically what it can do is, it has provided us with some different modes. So the first example given by this uh, amazing uh, GitHub page is cumulative counting mode. So what happened in cumulative counting mode is that they are trying to detect the number of vehicles in the video. So every time the object that is detected crosses the ROI line, the detected vehicles will increase by one. So what this means is that every vehicle that passes the ROI line, the detected vehicles will increase by one. There are many applications that I can think of. And I think that this can be useful, for example, in manufacturing industry where you want to keep track of the number of outputs that is generated per unit time. Similarly, you can also do it for the number of pedestrian that is crosses the R1 line. So once it crosses the line, the detected pedestrian will increase and according to the number of people that, is, that has crossed the line. Amazing stuff. And there's another thing called the real-time counting mode. And what it does is it will count the number of objects detected in real-time so it can do for and then there's also object tracking modes where it will provide a unit id for each object and you and will track the movement of the object and then there's also object counting on single image mode where you count the number of objects detected in an image and the numbers will actually be presented on the top left hand corner of the image so and I think that this is an amazing, amazing project um, contributed by the author. I would like to try out this um, code myself. So if you want to try out the code yourself, you can go to code and then download the zip file. So if you want to support the author, you can go to this YouTube link and support his channel. So once you have downloaded the GitHub code or project, from his GitHub page, you should receive, you should have a TensorFlow object counting API master file or master zip file. So go ahead and unzip your file or extract here. Next, you should have this TensorFlow object counting API master file. So, so if you look into the file, you will see there are a bunch of folders as well as files. First and foremost, let's look at data. The author himself actually has already trained a model. And what we want to see is what is inside the label map so we can know what it what does the object detection model can actually create. So just now I did look at the label map that is used in most of the Python files, and uh, I think most of them are using this uh, MS Coco label map. So let's take a look at this. So in all in all. The model that is created by the author can read up to 90 different objects. So I think you should be able to find the objects that you want inside the model. So some of them are person, bicycle, car, motorcycle, airplanes. There are cats and dogs as well. So I would say this is quite a comprehensive uh, model. So to start using the Python files inside the folder, I think we will need to create our very own Anaconda virtual environment. And if you want to learn more about virtual environment, you can look at them in one of my tutorials. So for me right now, I will go, we'll open up the Anaconda prompt. Oh, so this is it. And we will go with Conda create dash n. And then the name will be called object counting. This will be the name of, of, of our virtual environment, object counting. And then we will let our Python to be equals to 3.0. Enter. Let's go. 3.7.
So you ask whether you want to proceed, then we will go with yes. It's gonna take some time. So we so uh once it is done, you should see this, and then you would like to activate your very own virtual environment, and then you will copy this and then paste it here. So once it is activated, you should see here object object counting on the left hand side, and then okay so um before we start we will need to at least before we start we will need to at least download the necessary before we start we need to download the necessary libraries the python libraries so before that we will need to go to this uh, folder directory copy this and we will go to cd which stands for current directory and go to this so once inside we will need to download all the Python libraries that is required in this text file. So let's take a look first. Uh, so these are the things that is needed in order for us to run our open CV. I mean, in order to run our object counting. So we will do it by using pip install negative r or dash r requirements.txt, which stands for this particular text file. So let's install. So this is going to take a while for you to install all the necessary libraries for it to run this um, counting. So um, actually this uh, project that is created by the author is built upon the TensorFlow pre-trained model API. So I would say this is very easy to integrate into your custom object detector that you have created. So I think in the meantime, we can look at the model again so as i said um, if you are using the vehicle counting uh, python file you have a horizontal line on the other hand if you are using the pedestrian counting you have a vertical line in your video in your output video so if we look at the pedestrian counting um, python file you'll see that we have our arrow right so the vertical line will move along this horizontal position. So 385, this is 385. So if I would make an assumption because I, I haven't really tried it out. So if I make an assumption, I would say maybe this is zero and then this is 385. So you should play around with the ROI line and then to see where you want your ROI line position to be. On the other hand, if we look at the vehicle counting.py, we also have the ROI for the line for the vertical horizontal line. And if we make another assumption, I would say this is the Y, X, Y position ROI line. So assuming this is zero, starting from zero to 185. So if you want to, you should play around with the numbers to get the position of the ROI line that you actually want. So that's about it. This is the end of the part one of my tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below. If not, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.